project is faculty's lived experiences teaching online courses, um, whether that's a more traditional um, extension school, uh, credit bearing course, or a massive open online uh, course, um, and what they learn from the experience, um, how it applies to their residential teaching and their research. Yeah, we've both worked with faculty for, you know, going on five years now at Harvard X. And there's a um, really great kind of developed uh, parts of the organization and across the university that study student experiences taking courses. But there's really, it feels like a dearth of research around faculty's experience uh, t teaching courses. And we had both kind of anecdotally in the courses that we have um, managed kind of heard a lot of overlapping things, both you know positive and also things faculty kind of wish they had known when they would started. And we wanted to really formalize that in our, using the SMART grant and a study design so that we could pull out these sort of faculty experiences to share with prospective faculty who are thinking about developing online courses. And also with um, staff and course developers who are working with faculty to improve their experiences. Some um, preliminary things we found um, are that across the board, I think faculty were surprised at sort of how long it takes um, to create a online course. Um, it's quite different than creating a residential course. Uh, a lot of faculty transform the way they teach in the residential course based on their experiences teaching online. Um, ten, they tend to teach more interactively after um, teaching online. Um, and also a few of them um, were able to sort of work on projects that were more um, interdisciplinary that they otherwise wouldn't have a chance to do in a sort of residential setting and to collaborate with faculty that they wouldn't otherwise collaborate with. Um, and some of them uh, altered their sort of research interest and um, gave them a sort of more global perspective on uh, those who are doing sort of massive open online courses. In some ways, we're still in the preliminary stages in the sense that the SPARK grant um, helped us get to the stage where we are now to start actually using our time to um, go through what has been coded to then determine sort of a quasi list of best practices and also turn around and present back to the university is really important for what we're doing. So um, while the grant is up, it doesn't mean that the work that we're doing is done. And in some sense, it's kind of pushed us to the next stage. I think putting together a timeline early on is really important. Right? I mean, obviously, you want to leave yourself flexibility to, you know, kind of as things as you explore and kind of develop new ideas. But in general, you know, it's a, it's a grant, which has a kind of specific amount of time around it. And you really want to know what your deliverable is at the end. Um, Hilt is you know, very generous with kind of giving us the freedom of establishing our own, you know, goals. But you still want to set those goals early on. You don't want to just be an exploratory space. But you really want to know what you're kind of going into and sort of set um, internal deliverables to make sure you reach that goal. The most valuable part of this grant was having a great coach. Um, Rebecca was amazing and just really having a sounding board and someone um, to like cheerlead us along and think through the process um, was so helpful. Um, I think the process would not have been the same at all without her. Um, I think she was in some ways even more valuable than the money. Yeah, totally sign off on that. Uh, she, Rebecca and that's in our coach was very supportive and helpful. And I think emblematic generally what Hill represented for us, which is like a support structure when we needed it, not, you know, no one was poking around asking us what we're doing, but if we needed help or support, we knew that it was there, which is you know, really, really nice with this sort of um, grant.